And welcome to tutorial 12, which is the third video in the Core 3 trigonometry playlist I've made. It's to do with the Edexcel Core 3 syllabus. As we always start, let's take a look at what we need to know for Edexcel. Well, what we've already done is we've had knowledge of second, cosecant and cotangent, and we've talked about their relationships to sine, cosine and tangent, and we've also talked about their particular graphs, and while we've been doing that, we've been working in degrees and radians mode. Something that is within this section that's not as explicit as that is we need to use the definitions of second, cosecant and cotangent to prove identities and to simplify um, expressions with these functions within them. So that's what this video is going to be about. So let's start off straight away uh, by reminding ourselves the definitions of cosecant, cos uh, uh, second, cosecant and cotangent. They're as follows. Um, sec theta is 1 over cos theta, cosec theta is 1 over sine theta, and cot theta is 1 over tan theta, and hence, uh, by the relationship that tan theta is sine theta over cos theta, 1 over tan theta must be cos theta over sine theta. And we had drawn out various uh, pictures of the graph, etc. for these, but I'm not going to go into those now. Let's start straight with an example of simplifying some uh, algebraic expression involving these functions and you by using their definitions. So let's begin straight off with an example. Take a look. Example 1. What we're doing is simplifying trigonometric expressions. Simplify sine theta, cot theta, sec theta. Well, sine theta, cot theta, sec theta. This is identical to the following. Let's just use the definitions of uh, them. Sine theta is just sine theta. There's nothing I could do with it. But cot theta, well, we've just worked out, I'm going to use a dot to mean times, cot theta is cos theta over sine theta. And sec theta is 1 over cos theta. So I'm going to put a dot there again to remind me that I'm timesing, 1 over cos theta. And now I can simplify. This is equal to, well, how can I cancel here? There's a sine theta on the denominator, a sine theta on the numerator, a cos theta on the numerator, and a cos theta on the denominator. So I'm left with simply the answer 1. So simplifying sine theta, cot theta, sec theta, well, that's identical to 1. Very simple question. One more example. Slightly more complicated here. Simplify sine theta, cos theta, multiply by in brackets sec theta plus cosec theta. So before I start, uh, why don't I multiply out the brackets here to start with? Why don't I multiply out the brackets? So this would be equal to or identical to sine theta, cos theta, sec theta plus sine theta, cos cosec theta even. So, sorry, sine theta, cos theta, cosec theta, cos theta, cosec theta. Now let's use the definitions of sec and cosec. So all I'm going to do here is use the definition of sec and the definition of cosec in here and see if that helps. So this is sine theta, cos theta times 1 over cos theta plus sine theta cos theta 1 over sine theta. OK, and now we can do a bit of cancelling here. Uh, that cos would cancel with that cos. That sine would cancel with that sine. And we would simply get the answer sine theta plus cos theta. So simplifying uh, that expression in, in example 2, would simply simplify to sine theta plus cos theta. OK, now I would encourage you, using the exact same methods I employed above, um, simplify the following expressions using the definitions of sec theta being 1 over cos, cosec theta being 1 over sine, and cot theta being cos over sine. Use those definitions to simplify the following. Pause the video, have a go, and I'll show you the answers in 10 seconds.
And the answers for the following were as follows. Okay, so I encourage you to make sure you can get those. Maybe I'm just, I'll just pick a few just to see if I can help you out, make your life a bit easier. Maybe if I pick that one, for example, um, you know that tan theta, tan 2 theta is sine 2 theta over cos 2 theta, and cosec 2 theta is 1 over sine 2 theta. So the sine 2 thetas would cancel, and you get 1 over cos 2 theta, which is sec 2 theta. Let's pick another one, see if I can help you out. Maybe pick this one here, just see if I can quickly just show you how that answer might have come. Well, sec A, uh, what, what we could do is we could factorise out the sec A from both terms. That's what I would probably do. Always where you can factorise, try it. It usually helps. And you get 1 minus sine squared A. You know from core 2 that 1 minus sine squared A is cos squared A. So this is sec A cos squared A. Sec is 1 over cos. 1 over cos times cos squared just gives me a cos A. So I'd encourage you to make sure you can work out the rest. But there are two quick ways of doing it. I would have shown it more formulately if I was doing it properly. But there are the hints to get to two that, that look a little bit difficult. Okay, we've now simplified trigonomic, uh, trigonometric expressions using the definitions of sec, cosec, and cot. Now what we're going to do is prove some trigonometric identities um, uh, using these uh, definitions as well. So let's just start with an example, and then I think you should do a few yourself. Example. Prove that, or show that, cot theta, cosec theta over sec squared plus cosec squared theta is identical to cos cubed theta. Now, with identities, it's the, way, it's the same as the way you did it in core 2. Start with one side, play around with it, and try and get to the other side. We're going to start with the left-hand side. Now, what I find helpful to stop myself making huge algebraic blunders, etc., if I ever have a quotient, that's a fraction involving complicated terms, I'll work, out, I'll work with the top, I'll simplify it, then I'm going to do some work on the bottom and simplify it, and I'll divide them at the very end. Don't try and do it all in once, you'll confuse yourself with um, fractions within the fraction and you'll get all messed up. So the left hand side, let's just consider the top, i.e. what's cot theta, cosec theta. Well, let's just start using the, the definitions. Cot theta is cos theta over sine theta. And cosec theta is 1 over sine theta. And then multiplying together, so I would get for that cos theta over sine squared theta. OK, don't try and simplify or cancel any more than that. We're going to work on the bottom and see if it cancels with the top a bit later. So let's now work on the bottom of the left-hand side, or the denominator. Sec squared, we're going to work on sec squared theta plus cosec squared theta. Now, let's just go straight into the definitions of these. Sec squared theta is 1 over cos squared theta. Cosec squared theta is 1 over sine squared theta. OK, and that's the definition of it. Always, when you're adding fractions, just tidy up, simplify it, make the denominators the same and add the fractions. So in order, the denominators on the same would be cos squared theta, sine squared theta. That would be what would the same denominator would be. This you'd have to multiply by sine squared both times, so you get a sine squared on that side. This one you'd have to multiply by cos squared, so you get a cos squared. And oh look, we've got something quite... Uh, magical and interesting happening here. Sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So you're going to get 1 over cos squared theta sine squared theta. Okay, now we're ready to actually work out the left-hand side. The left-hand side, therefore, is this thing divided by this thing. It is cos theta over sine squared theta divided by this thing here which is the same as multiplying it by its reciprocal, so multiplied by cos squared theta 
sine squared theta over 1. And a bit of magic happens here. The sine squares cancel, so the sine squared cancel with that sine squared. You get cos multiplied by a cos uh, squared, and you get yourself your cos cubed, which is what you were looking for, which is equal to the right-hand side. And you're um, delighted with yourself because you've done quite a difficult problem. And that's the answer. So straight away, um, there's nothing else to say about it other than use the definitions of sec, cosec and cot. If you've got fractions, deal with the top and bottom separately. And if you get yourself in a bit of work where you're adding fractions, go ahead and add the fractions by making a common denominator and that should help the process. So I've got a few questions for you to dry here uh, and then I'll show you the answers. Here we go. Okay, let's go through the answers. I'll go through one, each one in turn. I'll actually show you how to do these. Part A, we're trying to show that cos theta plus sine theta tan theta is as follows. So I'm going to start off, as always, with the left-hand side. Uh, we've got cos theta plus sine theta. The definition of tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Okay, doesn't look particularly helpful so far, but what we need to do, if we want to add these, this cos theta is really over 1, it's like a fraction really, this is like a fraction here, we make the, uh, the bottoms the same, make them both cos theta, so you have to multiply this one by cos theta, so you get cos squared theta, you've got sine squared theta over here, and it would be all over the common denominator, which is cos theta. Cos squared plus sine squared is 1, so you have 1 over cos theta, which in turn is sec theta, which is equal to the right-hand side as required. So you're happy with yourself again. That's quite a simple one. Next, how did you do this one? Just go to definitions again. Uh, the left-hand side, as always, start off here, left-hand side. What is cot theta? Well, cot theta is cos theta over sine theta plus tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Okay, I want to add these fractions, so I'm going to make the denominators the same. I'm going to make the denominator sine theta cos theta. This, fra this uh, numerator here, I had to multiply by cos theta, so I got cos squared theta. This here, I had to multiply by sine theta, so I got plus sine squared theta. Cos squared plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So I have 1 over sine theta cos theta. Well, this is the same as 1 over sine theta times 1 over cos theta, surely. And 1 over sine theta is cosec. 1 over cos theta is sec. So we have, as required, cosec theta, sec theta. And we have got ourselves the right-hand side, and we should be happy with ourselves. Next one, how did you do part C? Cosec minus sine, start off with the left-hand side. Cosec is 1 over sine theta, minus sine theta. Okay, well really that subtract sine theta is over 1, so we're dealing with subtracting fractions. So make the denominators the same, make the denominator sine theta. Nothing had to happen here, you've got your 1, 1 over sine theta. Here you had to multiply uh, both top and bottom by sine theta, so you would get sine squared theta. You know from core 2, 1 minus sine squared is cos squared theta. Okay, and you're nearly there now. This surely is cos theta, cos theta over sine theta and you can think of this uh, this here separately cos over sine, this cos over sine is copped and you still have a cos on the numerator so this is equal to cos theta from here copped theta because cos theta over sine theta is copped and you have yourself the right hand side nice and straightforward
This next one here, I'd always be tempted out to just expand it. So let's have a go at this. We're going to start off with the left hand side as always. We're going to expand it. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times sec theta is, is, is sec x, even is sec x. Minus cos theta times 1 is minus cos x. Sorry, I keep saying theta, I mean x. And minus cos x times uh, sec x, well, that's neg uh, minus cos x sec x. Okay, what's that equal to? Can we do any work on this? Well, that's still 1. Sec is 1 over cos, better write like that, it's always helpful. And we've got our subtract cos x, and cos x times sec x. Well, cos x times sec x is 1 over cos x. They uh, actually cancel to give you 1. So you've got your minus 1 here. This here would be minus 1. So that cancels with that, and you've got yourself 1 over cos x, minus cos x. Cos x is a fraction, it's really cos x over 1. So if we're subtracting fractions, make the denominator the same, make both denominators cos x. Here, nothing needs to be done. Here, top and bottom need multiplying by cos x, so you get 1 minus cos squared x. From core 2, 1 minus cos squared x is sine squared x, which Okay, and that's sine x, sine x over cos x. And exactly as we did before, we can say this sine x over cos x is equal to tan x, and we've still got a sine x left over on the numerator. So this is sine x, tan x, which is the right-hand side as we want it. Uh, simple as that. And e... E, this here, uh, we're going to try and do this one here. It looks a little bit more complicated, but let's start off as, as we always do with the left-hand side. Um, in order to add these fractions, the, the denominator should be the same. The denominator to be chosen should be 1 minus sine x times cos x. Okay, this here, therefore, need top and bottom need, needed multiplying by cos x, so you would have yourself a cos squared x. Here, top and bottom needed multiplying by 1 minus sine x, so you would get 1 minus sine x squared. So that would be the left-hand side when, when you try and add the fractions. Let's uh, expand out the top. You have your cos squared x. 1 minus sine squared x is 1 minus 2 sine x plus sine squared x. And that's all over one minus sine x cos x. Okay, let's see if we can do anything to make our life a bit easier. This cos squared plus this sine squared is one, and you've already got a one. So we therefore must have on the top two, that one plus that one is two, minus two sine x over 1 minus sine x cos x. Okay, looking quite good because we can now attempt factorizing the top. Well, I could take out a factor of 2 and I'd have 1 minus sine x over 1 minus sine x cos x. And now this factor of 1 minus sine x can cancel, and I get 2 over cos x, which is 2 sec x by definition. And we've got ourselves the right-hand side. And the last one here, and probably the most complicated, cos theta over 1 plus cot theta is equal to this. I'm going to start off with the left-hand side. I'm going to work out 1 plus cot theta, and 1 plus cot theta before I plough too far into it. 1 plus cot theta is 1 plus cos theta over sine theta. Okay, this one here is really 1 over 1. It is a fraction. If you're adding fractions, make the bottom the same. Make them both sine theta. 
This here times top and bottom by sine, I would get sine theta plus cos theta over sine theta. So this thing here is actually sine theta plus cos theta over sine theta. So let's see if we can use that to our advantage. I might just change pair. So the left hand side is now equal to cos theta divided by this or multiplied by its reciprocal multiplied by sine theta over sine theta plus cos theta. Okay, and you get, if you did that, you get cos theta sine theta over sine theta plus cos theta. Okay, it doesn't look like we've got anywhere to go here, um, but we look at the answer, we want a sine theta on top. If we divided the top by the cos theta to remove it and did the same to the bottom, if we divided top and bottom by cos theta, which is just simpling down a fraction, I would therefore get sine theta on top. Uh, cos th so sine theta divided by the cos theta would give me the tan theta, and cos theta divided by cos theta would give me the 1, and hence I had what I was looking for the right hand side. And that's uh, uh, proved all the identities. So in this particular video then, we finish now, we have shown how to simplify trigonometric expressions using the definitions of set, cosec and cot, and we've shown how to prove some of the identities using the definitions of set, cosec and cot. I'd advise you to read chapter 6, page 1991, look at the examples, and do exercise 6c, questions 1 to 4. Thank you for watching this video.